Hello everyone, my name is Emilon and welcome to another episode of your channel. Actually, in today's video, we are going to count on top 10 best indie game developers. So, without any hesitation, let's start for the video, but you can, you know, you know that you can subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of content. So, let's start for the video. Number 10. Hello Games One cannot enter into conversation about British developer Hello Games without the dialogue being centered around 2016's No Man's Sky. The reason lies in the lead up to the release of the game, which was bursting with speculation and hype. This anticipation was stalked by co-founder Sean Murray, who appeared in numerous high-profile interviews detailing features that did not end up appearing in the game at launch. Despite his stumbling block, Hello Games have been adamant regress in their their post-launch support of No Man's Sky and in doing so hatched in promised features and repaired the relationship with player base. This determination and reliability coupled with the sheer innovation of No Man's Sky in scope and vision has potioned Hello Games as a popular and ambitious indie developer regardless of prior grievance. Number 9. Night School Studio American developer Night School Studio finds itself in an available position as an indie developer after its debut game Oxen Free quickly became a critical darling upon release. Night School Studio created critically acclaimed works after Party and sequel Oxen Free 2 Lost Signal. Whether it be communicating with spirits through radio signals or attempting to escape hell by besting Satan in drinking competition, Night School Studio masterfully plays players at the heart of its story, providing them with unique experiences through branching narratives and dialogue choices, gifting gamers full anatomy when engaging with stories. Night School Studio continuously innovates the gaming experience and show no sign of stopping. Number 8. Larian Studios It would not be outrageous to claim that Larian Studio have carved out a comfortable niche within the RPG game market. With the Belgian developer having released the games in genre since 2002, known predominantly for creating the Divinity series. Creating a Divinity series, Larian Studios saw a renewed interest in their work with the release of reboot Divinity Original Scene in 2014. A further renewal in game Gamer's interest in Larian Studio came with the studio release of Baldur's Gate 3, with the developer continuing from the Biover left off, based on a tabletop RPG Dungeons & Dragons, which itself has seen a massive spike in popularity within the cultural status. Baldur's Gate 3 was met with anonymous acclaim, maintaining Larian Studios as top player in RPG development sphere. Number 7. Giant Squid At its inception, Giant Squid already had a head start in a form of staff that understood an excellent in the creation of smaller scale games. Compiled of ex-employees from other indie developers, Giant Squid found itself in a prime position within the indie market when it began work on its own IP. Its first effort, 2016's ocean exploration game Abzo, was extremely popular with gamers and critics alike, being praised for its unique art style and simplistic yet satisfying gameplay. This was followed by Pathless in 2020 in which the player is cast as a hunter as she attempts to dispel a cursed place on her island. Giant Squid placing itself as a unique adventurous game developer and its next project Sword of the Sea looks to be just as artistic and individual as ever. Number 6 Playhead. One only needs to mention the game Limbo and Inside to any indie game fan to prove their respect and acclaim felt for Danish developer Playhead. Founded in 2006, Playdead has arguably been on the front of creating the albeit extremely niche video game subgenre that concerns a young child navigating a dark and oppressive world. Whether it be a young boy pursued by a giant shadow spider in Limbo or navigating this topic world rapidly Ravaged by an unknown disaster in, in the inside, play that takes its time focusing on player experience and wavering intricate narrative threats instead of concerning itself with releasing projects quickly. 
Number 5. Telltale Games Ironically, the story of developer Telltale Games is somewhat of a tale in itself, twisting and turning through humbling beginnings, rampant success, and eventual deterioration before rebirth to wipe the slate clean. Video game industry business and politics aside, Telltale Games made a name for itself by developing episodic games with branching narratives based on popular IPs such as The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones. While Telltale Games have ebbed and flowed in and out of admittedly grey area that is the independent developer classification, its root as a company outside the mainstream have remained throughout its almost 20 years history, making them a favorite of gamers worldwide. Number 4. Mediatonic With a deep history of developing Flash games, Mediatonic has always been the forefront of creating projects tailored for the indie market. Indeed, the company's body of work includes over 100 releases, including unique and off-the-wall games like Fall Play and Hatchful Boyfriend. These types of games have solidified Mediatonic's quirky sensibility which fits perfectly into the indie game scene, one that was swiftly mixed with enormous commercial success after the release of 2020's Fall Guys. Players were enamored by controlling little bean people as they navigate dangerous obstacle courses, plumped into a beast and endlessly compete for crowns. Number 3. Young Horses If an award existed for the most bizarre yet charming games ever created, one could bet good money that developer Young Horses would win it by a landslide. Bursting onto professional video game scene with an octodad deadliest catch in 2014, Young Horses stole the hearts of gamers by putting them in control of an octopus masquerading as a suburban father. Wearing its quirkiness on its sleeve, Young Horses went on release bugs now in 2020 where players are cast as a journalist who is called to an island populated by half bug half snack creatures with this genuine career for innovation and creativity as well as clear player first philosophy young horses are an indie developer with a bright future in front of them Number 2. Hazelight Studio Hazelight Studio were formed in 2014 after the success of creating a director Joseph Lair's first foray into video games Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. A relatively young developer has gone on to amass a substantial amount of clout in the industry with subsequent release A Way Out and It Takes Two. Although gamers will most definitely recognize Fares for his impassioned and unconventional speech at 2017 Game Awards, which became a meme online shortly after. This did little to overshadow the work itself, which it takes two, winning multiple awards at 2020 Game Awards, including the coveted Game of the Year honor. Despite its authentic leader, Hazelight Studios is in a prime position within an indie video game market. And number one, Super Giant Games. In a market brimming with massive open worlds, extensive online multiplayer and blockbuster budget narratives, developers like Supergiant comes not only move against the grain, but prove that this is just as viable a journey to make when creating video games. One only needs to look at the critical and commercial acclaim of all four of the developers released, Bastion, Transistor, Pyre and Hades. From isometric RPGs set against backdrops of high fantasy and science fiction to ritualist sporting events and escaping a procedurally generated underworld, the backlog of Supergiant games is among the greatest of creative, unique and quality experience released by an indie studio. Indeed, with the sequel to Hades well into development, the star of Supergiant games will not be extinguishing anytime soon. So this is it for this video, my name is Ebola on everyone thank you for watching this video if you watch until yet you you know re maybe you really want to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this my name is ebola and i will see you in the next episode peace